there is a sort of certain post-Brexit air to it, if you like. Uh, uh, but, I mean, the, the Union Jacks everywhere, the street parties, mm. uh, it is very, very British and nobody does pageantry like we do, absolutely mm. nobody. And what we don't understand sometimes is that the rest of the world is actually very, very envious of our monarchy and our traditions. Are you jealous? <laughs> Greetings and welcome to this beautiful English June morning. Look at the gorgeous sunshine. Look, I'm not going to start talking weather. But. So Monday morning, just after our lovely, beautiful Platinum Jubilee weekend with our four day weekend. If you're self-employed like me, it doesn't really make much difference. You just work anyway. Uh, but how did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy the, the, the Platinum Jubilee in general? Let me know. But what we're going to talk about today is, did Anne Whittacombe enjoy it? <laughs> Old Anne Whittacombe. It's always good for a laugh, isn't she? Old Witters, Witty Witters. No one's ever called her Witty Witters in her life, I assure you. Of course, uh, the big story, Boris Johnson just turned up to the uh, St Paul's Cathedral Thanksgiving service and was roundly booed by the crowds there. Uh, and you wonder whether there are a few Tory backbenchers in those crime crowds because they seem to be uh, booing him as well. Uh, he, he, well. There's supposed to be about 30 letters have gone into Sir Graham Brady at the 1922 committee so far. Uh, and uh, a head of steam is building up there. The magic number is 54 at that point there will be a leadership contest do you think there will be one well i sincerely hope not because i think what you're looking at at the moment is the spectacle of a party a very big important political party just losing its collective nerve losing it completely uh, and with no real grounds to do so i mean if a general election were tomorrow i wouldn't blame any of them for losing their nerve but it's two years away and we all know, I mean, history is littered with examples of governments, including Thatcher's, who've been very, very low in the polls midway, uh, terrible headlines, everybody saying this is the end, they've gone on to win mm. uh, the next general election. And I, I think Boris should have a chance. I wonder how many of those people booing him had their vaccinations early because Boris was ahead of the rest of the world. <sighs> <laughs> Always comes back to the sodding vaccine, doesn't it? Every single time. You got anything else, Witters? You got, got anything else? The vaccine? If it's not the vaccine, then it's you've got Brexit done. Fucking vaccine. You imagine him in the crowd going, oh, hey, you lot, don't boo him. Remember, you've all got the vaccine, haven't you? Oh, the vaccine, of course, yeah. It's a broken record, right? Anything else? You want to give us anything else apart from the vaccine? Just, just... Well, one thing, one thing. Just give me one, apart from the vaccine. Now, the thing is with the vaccine, right? Undoubtedly, I mean, we did in the UK get the vaccine first. We did pump it out really, really quick, which undoubtedly did save lives, getting the vaccine to vulnerable people quicker before they caught COVID, save lives. Definitely, definitely did. How much Boris Johnson had to do with that is quite questionable. I'd say that's probably down to uh, our NHS more than anything. <laughs> but it did save lives. But what I'm more concerned about, Witters, Witty Witters, she's not Witty, but she's Witters, is the loss of life at the beginning of the pandemic. Boris Johnson's herd immunity policy, not locking down care homes quick enough, not looking at the evidence of what was going on in Spain, Italy and taking bloody ages to lock down and the amount of needless lives that were lost. I'll be looking at that more than the vaccine. I'm going to have to ask you now, I mean, I take those points. Uh, yes, he steered us through the Covid crisis. He had to. He happened to be the Prime Minister when it happened uh, and he certainly didn't do a bad job of that. Are you mental? Are you actually mental? I mean, can anyone really stand there with a straight face and say Boris Johnson done a good job at COVID? Are you mental? My God, the PPE fraud and corruption, the 38 billion spent on test and trace, most of other countries spent a few million on it. And it didn't even work, it wasn't even any good. The care homes that I just mentioned, the delay in locking down, the needless lives that were lost, the unnecessary debt that you've put us into with these billions of pounds wasted. Well, what part of that is a good job? Well, please explain to me. Well, to be fair, there wasn't 
very much he could do while COVID was raging because we didn't know how long it was going to go on for. The impact on the economy has been horrendous. Now, all of us were saying throughout COVID, we're going to have to pay for this as another few trillion were sort of put into the pot here, there and everywhere and everybody was being paid to stay at home. And we were all saying, we're going to have to pay for this. Well, yeah, that time has now come. Yeah. We are going to have to pay for it. All of us. Are you paying for it, Wes? Are you? Are you paying for it? Because I kind of get the feeling that it probably hasn't affected you in any way, shape, or form. Look at this rotten Dean. I, I do like that. I do like all the all the British flags out for the jubilee. It's, it's quite nice. And I don't. I, I do resent the fact that that Brexit has kind of hijacked the uh, the British flag. Um, but anyway, regardless, has it affected you, Wes? <laughs> Because I kind of get the feeling, like with every other financial crisis, that it's the poor people that it's affected and not people like you. Uh, and I think we need to acknowledge that because at the moment all I hear is people saying, cost of living is going up, which it certainly is. What is the government going to do about it? Mm. There's actually a limit. You're absolutely right, Wears. There is a limit to what the government can do. There is. This government haven't gone anywhere near that limit whatsoever. I mean, if you generally believe in what you say, where you say, we should all pay for this, we should all pay for this, then you should be for higher VAT on luxury luxury items. You should be for a much higher tax on, on energy companies. You should be for a, a, a pandemic tax where people that have heavily profited from this pandemic, Amazon, Uber, stuff like that, should pay a pandemic tax these are all things that would would help your assessment that we should all be paying for this because currently it's just the poor witters it's only the poor that are paying for this yeah the poor when their energy bill goes up by 200 pounds it's a big fucking deal yeah when jeff bezos's energy bill goes up by 200 pounds it's not is it uh, where is the conservatism in all this? Well, one of the reasons that I haven't rejoined the Conservative Party following the dissolution of the Brexit Party uh, was very straightforward. Um, it was that I didn't see them acting as Conservatives. Now, there are very specific issues that I took exception to. The treatment of the Afghan interpreters was a very big one. Uh, the mess over Northern Ireland, which is largely Boris's mess, is another uh, very big one. But the, the essence of Conservatism is low tax, low spend, freedom of the individual. Yes. And we've got high tax, high spend and huge incursions into civil liberties. Mm. So Wiz, you started the video saying that we should all stick behind Boris Johnson and praise him for his great vaccine rollout. And now you just spent the last 10 minutes slagging the guy off. He's not conservative. The Conservative Party aren't conservative enough for you. They're about high tax and high spend when they should be about low tax and low spend. So well, why are you backing this guy then? <laughs> why? The Rwanda migrant scheme, if it is to work, has to happen, doesn't it? Uh, nothing's going to happen until the first plane load has been sent to Rwanda. And then, then the threat of that will actually mean something. Mm. And I do mean a plane load, not two mm. people. Yeah. Uh, if the first... Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. It's got to be a plane load. It's got to be a plane load. We can't just let two people uh, be sent to Rwanda to encounter whatever fate that they're going to encounter. It's got, it's got to be a plane load. It's got to be a plane load. The language these people use. These are real people. Yeah, just like you and me. These are real people with real lives and re real feelings. The language that you use, you talk about them like they're cattle. Oh, you've got to fill the planes up with them and drive, send them away, fill it, fill it up. And they're laughing about it. These are real people. I just, the, the, the language that they, they use. It's just, they're, they're, it's, I, I, I hate arcing back to the war with examples but it's just the easiest example isn't it it's exactly the same language against the the jews in germany it, it, you just dehumanizing them as, a, as though they're like a herd of cattle being sent to the farmer's market it's disgusting but you said earlier this is not the time to defenestrate the prime minister i take it's not i take that point uh but uh he does seem to be very lackadaisical with the principles of the party he's supposed to represent. He just lurches from one crisis to the next <laughs> and does whatever gets him good headlines tomorrow. He ought to be a bit more careful about what it means to be a Tory. But people still respect these ideas. Like this, this dinosaur around Whitcomb. Voters, voters in their hundreds and thousands still respect these, the ancient ideas now. 
This, this, this type of politics does not work. We've been trying it for 40 years. This trickle down Thatcher Reagan economics does not work. It doesn't work. The facts are there. There's more poverty than ever. There's more homelessness than ever. There's more drug use than ever. There's more crime than ever. There's worse healthcare than ever. We've been banging this same bollocks out for 40 years. It doesn't work. And I, 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 it just amazes me how these people get on TV, on talk radio, and they're still held up as intellectuals with, with common sense about politics. When they're just banging on about the, the same old tropes that we've been pumping out for the last 40 years that just do not work it just doesn't work it does not work how many other scenarios do you pump the same shit out for the last 40 years and it not work i talk about reagan and thatcher you know i bang on about the drug war so many times in my in my videos people probably get sick of me it's the same shit where else in society do you do the same thing for so long this war on drugs that just it never works it costs millions of pounds all it does is push more people into drugs and giving more money to, to criminals. It's the same with the, the trickle-down economics bollocks with Thatcher and Reagan. Low tax, low spend. All it does is pushes people into poverty. Bollocks. I don't even know why I've got my sunglasses on anymore. That's bollocks as well. The weather's bollocks. Bloody June. June. Fucking June. Till next time. <laughs> <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video maybe put a like maybe subscribe to the channel uh, if you enjoyed it even more and you want to thank me and support the channel there's a little thanks button down there I really appreciate it uh, anyone that does everyone that has done that I really appreciate you your, your thanks your, your super messages whatever it is on the on the videos it's all going towards a better camera I want to get a better camera because this camera is like it, it's supposed to be HD and it is when I drive under 30 miles an hour, but as soon as I drive a bit faster, it goes a bit blurry. So yeah, any, any of your uh, super thanks is going towards a better camera, so I appreciate it. Give me your thoughts, please. Why are people still, still, still holding these dinosaurs up with some sort of regard of intelligence for their politics? When it, we, we've been doing the same shit for 40 years and nothing's, nothing's improved, nothing's any better. Till next time, take care.